Oh, a peasant rebel faction. Okay, then. And a populist <laughs> targeting the leash. Okay, then. Both not great. They can send an ultimatum in 48 months. Okay. No, I probably can't really do much about it, can I? Uh oh. A peer meet. Mercenary contract ex is expiring. That's great for our for our treasury. Yeah, of course, sure. Let let's let the kid go to the peer meet. Oh, she's already back. Okay then. Now, Hectorius is Herculean and quick. So. Unfortunately, Curious is not a great trade for martial education. Anyway, who's inheriting all these titles? So the duchy goes to Bardas. County of Laconia goes to Bardas as well. County of Achaia goes to Hectorius. And the County of Chania goes to Bardas. So, yeah, educating him in, 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 in Marshall is probably not a good idea anyway. So, um, diplomacy education. Let's go with that. Educate child, who's going to do it? The Duchess is going to do it. Do we have any other children at court? Let's see. Sought by adults. Children. Helen Maniatis is being educated. Margarita is still too young. Antiochios, the nephew, will go for an Oh, he's ill. That's too bad. Let him go for martial education here. An ill child with a martial education. What could possibly go wrong? And my son is still too... Is he still too young? No, no, we just Hectorus. We just chose some his education. So, all is good here. Innovation discovered. Chronicle writing. Now what does that do? Let's see. The Greeks. Innovation early medieval. Chronicle writing. Can use individual de euro duchy casus belli. Casus belli prestige cost minus 10%. No more will the stories of our family's exploits be passed down just through oral tradition. We will keep a record of all that we accomplish, both to inspire future generations as well as to prove our claims over lands we should rightfully hold. Okay then. Um, the Unstoppable Alexander. While studying the tactics of the ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Alexander the Great during the conquest of Mesopotamia. So... Gain the trade forder. Crosses rivers and straits without advantage penalties. Military engineer will do what for us? Siege phase time minus 30%. That's a lot to be honest. Or Reaver. Turning my foes resource against them. Brilliant. Raid speed and hostile county attrition. Why waste time studying tactics with didn't work. Why would anyone ever choose that? That doesn't make sense at all. So I think military engineer is a pretty great trade to be honest. 
Let's go with that. Mercenary company is dismissed. And we gain a lot of gold. The vision of Chiro. When studying yada yada, Constantine's victory at the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. More commander traits. Um. Okay, so Forder again, flexible leader, a holy warrior. What does that do? Face hostility advantage. Burning the righteous fervor, Petrus will not rest until all heathens are defeated. What does flexible leader do? Enemy defensive advantage, minus 50%. Petrus knows how to reduce the advantage defending of defending armies. The defending armies get from fortifications, terrains, rivers, and straight crossings. Yeah, that's useful. And she's pregnant again. Now, can I... Can I disinherit that guy? Or make him... Make him take vows. Hook available. At least 10. Yeah, we might have to do that. Because um, otherwise this... This realm will most likely be split up. So let's... wow. She is intelligent and Amazonian. Okay then. Not bad. Petros, this cat has to go. No, the cat won't go. I will not give Snow away. Deal with it, woman. New leash. The despot has been become a new leash due to being granted new titles. Now what the hell happened here? Is that a kingdom title now? He's really my leash now. Wow. That's um that's unfortunate. Can't say I wanted that to happen to be honest. However that might also bring some advantages. Because we could now just attack this other duke here. And since the guy doesn't have any allies, there won't be much he can do about it, really. At least I think so. Hopefully. Um, so, yeah, I think we should... That's the army of Naxos. And he's at war with Naxos, right? War against the tyranny of New Eusebius. Okay then, yeah, that that's um, that's a good development for us. And since this entire army is there,
we might as well go for it now, shouldn't we? And grab Corinthos while we still can. Yeah, I think I think that's exactly what we'll do. Declare war. Now, why can I declare? See the Duchy of Akaya. You Petros the Foolish. Oh, I, I, I didn't remember at all that we got that title um, last time. You Petros the Foolish. Okay then. Um, seize the county. Seize duchy, no cost at all. Oh, okay. So in that case, that that guy just becomes my vassal. And I don't actually get the county. Oh, in that case, he is my vassal. Oh, okay then. So if I do that, it's just... having that dude in my sphere of influence. But that would also be fine. To be honest. Yeah, yeah, we are we are going to do that. Declare war on that guy. That guy here. So that's let's see. Becomes your vessel forty fame, alice forty prestige. And what's happening here? Pretty much the same thing, right? But that would cost us prestige. Now, why is that? Becomes my vessel. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. Okay, declare war. Reduce speed again. And erase all the armies. And let's see. Might as well increase that by one, and that by one, and that by one. There we are, that's the county. And I will be the commander myself again. Now why is that a hostile army? Let's just hope um, he won't run into me. We can unlock another Marshall Park, which might come in useful. Hit and run. Archer damage. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, okay, I'm the Marshal now. That guy. Interesting. Oh, sieges are really much shorter now. Which is always great. Having a new role um, every 14 days. That's huge, to be honest.
and sees since he's preoccupied there we can just um, happily siege along oh boy it's a sad son Isakios? Yeah, okay. Isakios. Oh. Uh, wow. He's a disgrace. No inheritable traits whatsoever. My second son has leper. <laughs> no! No! Why? He's quick. He's a Culean. And he's... Oh boy. Not looking great. That's for sure. Um... Well, he's five. And he has leper. So what are we going to do here? Might live for many years as deformity has will make him shunned and mistrusted. Is it time for drastic measures? Might lead to worsen symptoms or permanent injuries. Um I think it might be. It might be. Leper is, is a terrible disease and um time for drastic measures. Disastrous mistreatment. Oopsie. Not great. As I near my son Hectorius chambers, I hear horrifying screams. Barely human and full of pain. I burst into the room only to find Hectorius collapsed in a heap on the floor, covered in blood. The chattering physician is standing in the corner of the room, anxiously wringing his hands. Oh. And uh, he's wounded and obviously lost a leg in the process. Not great, not great. Now... 